Hey everyone, we are back with another What's Sold on eBay. Linda and I here out in the garage. It's getting hot here in California, so if I look sweaty, that's because I am. Uh, it's like 90 something degrees or whatever. So we gotta get through all these. Linda's actually not feeling well, so all thoughts and prayers towards her. She's feeling a little under the weather. Uh, it's not COVID. It's not COVID, but uh, <laughs> she just has a stuffy nose and she's just feeling a little, I don't know, run down. So she probably needs some rest, so we'll get this going and then she can go relax. How many sales do we have, Linda? Oh, I don't even know. Uh, Eleven. Eleven. A couple good ones here, I know for sure, and then a lot of bread and butter, which seems to be the theme. We're okay with it. Yesterday was a huge day. Not a huge, but a huge day. Huge. You guys saw in the last video. It ended up being $700 plus in one day, so that was awesome. Let's go ahead and get into what sold on eBay today. Starting off, um, this is a... What color is that, Linda? It's pink. I'll take her word for it. I'm not too great with colors. That's yeah. a pink Canon camera, 16 megapixel, three bucks at a garage sale. The best part about this one, it has the charger and the battery included. Rare, rarely does that happen. Half the time there's no battery or no charger, but that old digital camera sold for? Uh, 35 ship. 35 ship, so pretty good. Three bucks and a 35, just charged the battery real quick, tested it, took a couple of test pictures, it worked, it goes out first class, easy money. What do we got next? And then we got the souvenir vintage um, Hearst Hearst Castle. So it's got cute little pictures in it. Of, it's from the seventies, I think, yeah. or eighties. Uh, you didn't put it in there, but it's a guidebook. Uh, it's old for sure. It so, came in the yeah. three hundred fifty dollar book buy. And Still good quality though. There's like no bends on it or anything. Yeah, because someone probably paid money for it and they just put it in a shelf yeah. somewhere and never $1 used it. One dollar and ninety eight cents to start. Look at that. And what did we sell it for? Seven dollars and nineteen cents. So if you were out there at the Hearst Castle, you could have invested in this forty years ago and you could have made yourself <laughs> a couple of bucks. So. Next time, think about that. Yeah, what no, we got that's some flip flops. Skechers tone up, similar to the shape ups, little studded pattern there. If you're into that kind of thing, really good shape, size eight. I just bought another pair of these for five bucks the other day. I paid five for these. What did they sell for, Linda? They sold for thirty five ships. Thirty five ships. So pretty good deal on some sandals. <laughs> I'm guessing they might go over a pound in the pad of flat rate or somewhere around there, but we're still okay with that. And then next up from that makeup buy that Cameron did, this is um, City Beauty. It's a dark spot corrector. Um, so this one actually... I hear you just apply it very gently, guys, and it would work beautifully. This actually expired in 2020, but it Ugh. still sold for $45. All of the ones online yeah. seem to be expired, so I don't usually like to buy a lot of expired stuff. You just yeah. got to be careful with it, especially with health and beauty. But yeah. I sold this one. It went out for $40. 45. Uh, this came out of the $180 um, makeup eye. We already sold one piece, I think, for $90 and another one for $40. That right there almost gets us into the profit, and we have quite a few other pieces that were not expired that will do okay. We have a couple of those ones, though. And we got Field Guide to the Birds of North America. This book is actually, like, you could, like, yeah, hurt you could, somebody yeah. with it. It's, That'd be a good weapon. If you didn't have a so chunk claw lying around, yeah, you could grab a book and you could throw that. This you. This actually sold for 19 shipped. It's not that big, but it's it's heavy. Yeah, it's pretty dense. Like, it's yeah, it dense. is. It's, I mean, it's pretty thick, though, but it's, it's pretty an informative book, though. I mean... If you're into birds, like this is the book for you and you missed out because it sold yeah. for Sorry, how much? Guys. 19 and 19. this was from the $350 buy. I looked at it and I'm like, this one, someone's going to want. It is the National Wildlife Federation, so I figured that would help sell it too. And then we got this KitchenAid Blade. Be careful, don't stab anybody. That's why I'm holding it way up here. And this one's the large, but it has multiple blades with it. Yeah, so this one is sold for 30 ships. We sold the lid and the push the other day for 45. I listed the bowl for 45 as well. The base, I think, for 50 and a couple other. But we're going to make 150 bucks almost in sales on parting out a KitchenAid food processor. That was $20 uh, plus tax at the thrift. So even the thrift store doesn't catch them all. Here's part of one of my better uh, golf club buys. This is a Titleist 913D2. The top has a bunch of scuffs and scratches, but the face of the club is in just great shape. I'm like, what were you doing with this? Were you swinging on the concrete? But um, it's still in, it's still playable condition. I used to work at a golf course, so this one's really good. We spent a hundred bucks on golf clubs. What's so funny? Uh -huh. I worked at a golf course. I like stink at golf, but I know quite a bit about golf from working there. It was the only job that would hire me out of college, so I took it. Um, and that's not where I work now. But this one is a 10 and a half degree and it's sold for 95 ship. It's been up for about a week. We sold one club for four to the other day. We spent a hundred on everything. I'm thinking when it's all said and done, we're going to have 450 to $500 in golf club sales for our hundred dollar purchase. We also got a $20 pair of shoes that'll sell for about 60. So that was a good deal. This one next. Mm -hmm. 
Here is good old Mike Piazza, Dodgers Rookie of the Year. I think this is Salem Sportswear. Yeah. It's a 1994 or something like that. T-shirt. Paid a buck at a garage sale. This lady's awesome. Hey, hey. What? 93. It says it on the Reading shirt, is guys. hard, but you should keep trying to learn to read better. And you can do other <laughs> things better, too. Um, this one, uh, yeah, paid a dollar at a garage sale. This lady gets new stuff. She does house cleanouts and estate cleanouts. A uh, really nice lady. So I bought three Dodger or three baseball shirts. This one sold for a best offer of 40. Figured that was a fair price for a dollar investment. And those of you who know, usually my clothes are in bags and some of my other stuff's in bags. I ran out finally. I thought I had a whole another box full, but I did not. They are linked in the affiliate links. I don't push my affiliate links too much. It's not my thing, but they are there if you want to reference. We use the bigger bags and we put all of our clothes in there. Sometimes we put systems in there, other stuff too. Like if we I use them for a lot of stuff. Yeah, and then I have other shoes. Shoe. We no. used to have them not in bags, and you'd find one shoe, and then it'd be like, Yeah, where's, where's the yeah? Other it was like shoe? a game, yeah. not a fun one either. When it's late at night and the storage unit's about to close, and you need to find that, and it's Sunday, and you're tired. Yeah, uh, but it's a lot better now. But we put them, we bag them all up. So those bags are great. <laughs> They're li linked in the description. What do we got next? We have Samurai Champloo. Champ it's like Champloo. Is it Champloo? Champloo. Champloo. It's French. Is it? No, I don't think oh, so. Okay. I have it's no anime. idea. I wouldn't think it's French. It's French so, anime. It's French, anime. The French like Vol anime too, okay? Volumes Give them a break. one through seven DVDs. This one sold for 40 ships. That was two bucks at an estate sale. Crazy estate sale I went to. They sold me uh, Castlevania for PS1. If you know about video games, look it up. It's like a $200 plus dollar game. 150 to 200 I guess. Depends on the day. But it was only a dollar. And I got that there for two bucks. They had no idea what they had. It was a, an older community. And for whatever reason, the person had a bunch of anime and video game stuff. Here's an officer's equipment badge. This is an Armed Forces Reserve. Not a, it's like a medal, I guess. Um, these go on your shirt. I get a bunch of these at garage sales and from storage unit buys because we're near a lot of uh, military bases. So if they're brand new, I always pick them up. This one was a buck and it sold for 10.20. 10.20 goes first class. Just one of those easy kind of bread and butter ones. And then lastly, Linda and I are going to have guitar off here. No, we're not. I'm no. not good at it. It's a guitar hero for the Wii. We have two of them. Got them at the thrift store when we got that dinosaur the other day. This is a recent one. Oh, and I bought all those dresses. Yeah, you did. That was one for resale, though. Those were for uh, closet decorations. Um, My baby you... girl needs dresses. Yeah, she bought like her whole, her, my daughter's closet is full of dresses that she might it's never so wear. It's so pretty, But guys. it looks like the color, all the colors of the rainbow. It's so pretty. So while she bought that, I was out making money. And I <laughs> bought these two Guitar Hero guitars. They are no stickers on them or anything. They're two of the same ones. Um, bought them for five bucks plus tax, but we got some 20% off or something. I tested them. They work through a Wii Guitar Hero Legends of Rock that I had here on hand. Threw that together and it sold in a couple days for $90, $90 shipped. I like to lot them together because then I can kind of, it doesn't add too much to the shipping, but I can get a better sell price for them. So if I have two, I usually like to lot them together with the Wii ones because the Wii only sell for like 30 to 40 bucks individually. Mm -hmm. Whereas like the Xbox 360 ones, they sell for like 60, 70 bucks individually. So I rather list those ones individually, but the Wii ones will part together. Same with the PS2. If you get two PS2 wired ones, I usually lot those together because they sell for a little bit less. So that is everything I think we have. Um, Linda's super excited because she can go hopefully relax. <laughs> if anything else comes through, we have an hour left. We, have, we haven't we have had any solo Linda clips because no one's been buying anything after we're done. So Come on, either, guys. Well, it's not their <laughs> fault. Come on, world. Well, purchase some stuff. I'm Maybe by myself. <laughs> that gives Linda some practice on her own. So hopefully we'll have something to show you. If not, you guys will see Thursday sales next. Thank you so much. We'll see you in the next video. Take care. Hey everyone, we're <laughs> back with the what sold on eBay. This is now Thursday. Yeah. Continuing from Wednesday sales. Linda, how many do we have? 17. Can you total them up real quick? Mental math? No. No, okay. We'll just, you guys have to total them for us. I know there's a lot of lower stuff and then a couple of bigger items, which it seems to be the trend lately, which we're okay with. So definitely now we're both being a little under the weather. You probably can hear the congestion in our voices. So Linda must have got me sick. This is why you don't get close to people, you know, six feet. I keep telling her, but she just, she can't resist. No. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Anywho, um, hope, it's, 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 around, it guys. sounds like, of course, I'm in love with you. Of course, it's the other way around too. Oh, gosh. Anyways, um, just sounds like cold or whatever. So hopefully it'll get, we'll get rid of it here pretty soon and we'll be okay. But let's go ahead and get into what's sold. Linda, start us off with a bang. 
Pleasantville, starring Reese Witherspoon. This one sold for six dollars and forty cents shipped. And that's not too good for a DVD. <laughs> uh, that's one that's been on sale. Uh, wouldn't list that one again. What about that? What is this, Linda? Uh, Ninja this coffee maker, right filter here. holder, and the basket part. And this one's a little bit stained from coffee, but it's still sold. Uh, for... It still smells like coffee. It's yeah, like... I washed it out too. It's just some people like that, but it's all for twenty five. That's off a Ninja one. We uh, I parted it out twenty five bucks on that. This thing. This big thing. I'll hold it up for you. Okay, this is Gospel's Best. It's a spiral bound um, songbook. Songbook, yeah. So this one sold for twelve ships. This came in a big. We, I bought a whole IKEA bag full of these songbooks that one estate sell, and they've done pretty well. The ones that whoops, bumped the camera. The ones we have left though are not too um, great. Most of them will probably sell for that ten to fifteen. They go out media mail. I'll let Karen do this when he's super excited about it. Okay, so it. after church on Sunday, I had to drop some stuff off that were cleaning up the garage and donating some stuff. I stopped at a little thrift store that I go to a lot. And I asked Linda if I could, hey, I'm just going to go inside real quick. And she's like, yeah, whatever. So I was in there real quick and I walked out and I found this guy. He's a little brass dinosaur. I think he's like almost like a T-Rex, but he has he's a big, not. but he has a big horn on him. It's like almost like a T-Rex, I said. Um, yeah, but question, question mark because that's what somebody else put in theirs. But he was four bucks. I'm like, hey, looks really interesting. And I didn't look him up. Went in the car to go home because I wanted, didn't want to waste too much time. I'm like, let me look him up real quick. Saw that he sold for eighty bucks with uh, free shipping or something auction. So I bought him for four bucks. Listed him for a hundred shipped, and he sold in a couple days. Linda thought he was a piece of junk because he kind of looks like a piece of junk in a way. He looks not, like somebody used him like for a doorstop. Or it looks like it was like a, a young kid made this in you know in class. It's not the best quality in my opinion, but look out for these brass dinosaurs. Some of them go for crazy two hundred bucks if you can find like the bigger ones. So hundred bucks on that, pretty good deal for a four dollar investment from a thrift yeah. store on a quick little five minute stop. What is this? Hank Mobley, the turnaround CD. This one sold better. This was twenty five and a half. Shipped. I think it's Mobley. Mobley, sorry. But yeah, this is from the Jazz by a really good UCD right there. And another really, really, really great one. Yeah, $6.40 for the Beach Boys. But the Beach Boys, made in USA. I mean, this is just great right here. Six bucks and some change. Yeah. And, and an another one to $7. write home about. $7.64. The Mummy Collection. Uh, this is, came in a big DVD bundle. We got seven bucks for that it. That one's pretty cool, though. If you guys ever go to Universal Studios. Well, I mean, it used to be there. I don't know if it's still there. But when I used to go, there was the Mummy Ride. Which was so cool because you'd go straight forward and be like getting away from everything, and then the mummy would chase you, and you'd go straight back. You also ruined it for everyone who might want it to be surprised. It was so, but I don't even know if it's there yet. I haven't been there in so long. It's you been haven't like been there in like a decade. Yeah. yeah, you don't even know. It could be totally so, different now. Well, I know like the Back to the Future ones were there. It was like the Simpsons for a little bit, and then it was something else. Yeah. And then there's Harry Potter World or something like that, so. which looks pretty cool actually. You haven't even for seen nerds, Harry Potter, yeah. but. Anywho, it's nice and hot out here in California, so I'm kind of sweating then a little bit. Banjo. I apologize. Uh, we have a banjo here. I'd play it, but I stink at musical instruments of any kind. Uh, I paid 50 bucks for that at the garage sale. I bought some golf clubs, a bunch of other stuff. Kind of paid up. Didn't really know what I was doing. It finally sold for 160 shipped. It is going to Tennessee, if I'm not mistaken. I'm imagining shipping is actually going to be a little pricey on that. Probably 30 plus, maybe 40 bucks. But we'll make some money, and I'm happy to see it go. It takes up a lot of space, and uh, I felt, felt like I was going to break it. So that was the best sale of today. Yeah, and then we got the, the next guitar, best sale. player repair guard no, guide no. for $22. That's from the three fifty buy. That's pretty good. We'll take that. That's better than the $7 DVD. We'll make more money on that book than we will on pretty much three yeah. or four sales. An old model Roku. Some of you might have seen this if you were one of the originals to get on the <laughs> Roku bandwagon. This is like the original one. I had two of them for like five bucks at a garage sale. And um, this one sold for 18. 18. It'll probably go on a pad of flat rate. I also had a couple of extra emotes. They sold a little bit better. We got Cat Stevens Anthology Songbook. This one sold for 15 shit. Also from the 350 buy, so yeah. another great one. We this got one was a dollar, a little Blu ray here, Patton. Brand so new seal. Fifteen ships. One bucks at a little, one dollar a little garage sale. Fifteen ships. One bucks. One bucks. Uh, a GameCube. This is the like platinum console with the controller, all the cords, and no games. Uh, Hundred ships. It was listed at one twenty. It's been up for a couple, almost a month now. No action. I lowered it down to hundred because I've seen where the comps were, and that's it sold today for a hundred. So happy right. about that. I think I paid twenty bucks for it. Uh, some Fuker pedals. <laughs> Uh, I'm not sure if that's right, but don't judge me if it's not. These are five bucks. I got two sets of pedals. They're brand new. 
Um, got two of them for five bucks at a garage sale. They just were listed. This one sold for a best offer of $24. The guy said on Amazon they were listed for $27, which is what they were listed for for me on eBay. He said, if you give me a couple bucks off, I'll buy yours. And I said, you know what? I'm in a good mood. You can have them for $24. And he took them. That's a lie. He'll do that all the time. Not all the time. We got a Tupperware lid, little five inch lid. This one sold for ten dollars shipped. So. We've done really. I've sold a lot of Tupperware lids. You especially you get like a nice orange, yellow, red, some different color one. You get a bunch of them at like an estate sale. They don't have yeah. matches. You can get ten. Some of the bigger ones, thirteen bucks. Not a lot, guys, but that's yeah, a way. Again, you can. They're just super light. Yeah, I just put them in a little cardboard around it. Put them in a bubble mailer. Ship them out, and they're fine. And you can make some money off replacement lids. Guidebook for Marines. This came in one of the big camo buys I bought of all the military stuff. They had a couple of books in there. Decided to list it, and it sold for twenty-two. Shows. Twenty-two bucks. Good deal there. And then Alaska fan remote. This one sold for nineteen. Shows. It was from I think from storage unit guy. We threw it in our pile, um, and it sold for nineteen. These little fan remotes, AC remotes, obviously TV remotes, all kinds. Um, little fireplace remotes look out for them look them up the lasco fan ones are usually good for about 10 to 20 bucks depending on which one you have we got 8 17 18 19 19 so pretty good it just takes a little battery in the back to te test it out so that is it i guys i think that's everything right yeah we haven't had any other sales come at nighttime we mentioned the last clip so hopefully linda will get something to show you so she can you know roll solo in the next clip if not <laughs> we appreciate you guys watching and we'll see you in the next one take care Bye bye